Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Minecraft Together and if you didn't see the last episode of Let's Play Minecraft Together then you should probably go check it out to know what the deal is with this series and to learn about, <laughs> Garth is nodding and agreeing, to learn about the crazy Skyscraper City project that we are working on together. I'm going to jump into su survival, <laughs> into spectator mode here for a second and show you the latest thing that we've been up to. Now this series is about grouping together a bunch of updates in between the live streams that I do and letting you know what the progress and what's happening in this area is. So in this live stream I didn't have time to do much because we were going to do a Halloween boss fight and I built this little truck right here and this is one of the things we're going to bring to the city. We're going to bring cars into the place. We want to make this thing feel like it's lived in. So you'll see cars on the roads and cars in parking spaces like this and my one has a license plate X15 UM4. Brilliant. Genius. <laughs> uh, there is one other thing that I want to show you as well that uh, was actually put together in between streams. Not something we did particularly on the stream. This is a map of the jungle area and that is probably about half to maybe one third of the entire jungle biome. And we're going to have a competition soon where we try and chop down as many of these trees in 24 hours as we can to make room for the city that is emerging here. And this is just the starter area. We're going to be planning all sorts of craziness in the future. Uh, but there you go. So our competition live stream is about to start. And I think there might have been a little bit of a prank going on here. Because there is a truck and a bunch of little ducklings are escaping from it. This one is clearly upside down. <laughs> It's got a message. Duck Corp Motors. Okay, so Duck Corp are dropping off ducks in the area. That's kind of hilarious. Um, also, there's this new structure up here. I think this is for killing phantoms at night. Someone goes up there and then just slays all of the phantoms. If we head over to the map, though, we will see the progress that's been done in the area by looking at this. Lots more of the skyscrapers have become developed, and we've got some new roads up here in the top right area. And when we get real close, you can see the outlines of where plots are ready for people to build on. And then we've also got this happening right here. So we've got some really interesting um, intersections being built with roundabouts and trees and flowers and whatnot. In fact, I really like the use of granite on the outside here. That's fantastic. And, uh, well, I don't even need to say what this is, right? This is a petrol station. So we've introduced adding vehicles to our project here. And now there are vehicles inside of this petrol station. It looks like it's still a work in progress, though. And it's pretty fantastic. And there are some other buildings popping up around it and other intersections as well. The whole project has come together fantastically. But now the competition is about to start real soon. So when we come back, we may see a lot more of these trees being chopped down. So the log chopping competition is over. It's been about 26 hours and it was a 24 hour competition. So the competition has been over for a while now. There are some beautiful builds developing all around this city. I'm never quite sure where to go when I record, but one thing's certain, when we head out towards the area where things have been chopped down, it's not particularly noticeable and this is because the size of the jungle is so vast that we probably didn't really dent too much of the trees that need chopping down. As you can see though there's a new big buffer area between the skyscrapers over there and where the jungle is in this area. So tons and tons of trees have been chopped down and we actually have winners now and we're going to be creating trophies for the winners which I hope to show you in the next clip that you can record. Also in the background you might hear fireworks, but anyway, we're going to run this scoreboard and on the side of your screen you can see the people who chop down the most, some of them getting up to 50,000 and that is absolutely incredible. So a massive thank you to everyone who participated in the game. Also for some reason when we display this on the side of the screen it affects the, uh, the frames, <laughs> only when using that one because it has a special plugin attached to it. So that's slightly unfortunate, that's why people are talking about that in chat. Um, yeah, so the competition's over, and hopefully I'll be able to show you the trophies soon. I have a confession to make. One of the things I do here on the Let's Play Minecraft Together server is log in and teleport to random people to see what they're up to. Someone is building a Cycraft-like TNT perimeter. How cool is that? Look at this TNT duping, that's crazy. And look at this, I've manoeuvred myself to come to the middle here. I don't know if TNT was used for the whole thing. It certainly looks it based on the walls. <laughs> That's extraordinary, wow. 
So distractions aside, we are now back at Trungle City. There are new things popping up every time I come here. Now, uh, there appears to be this thing right here. Fawns farm fresh food free of charge. Wow, that's wonderful. Beetroot soup. Don't see that too often. That's really, really cool. Uh, there's also this block of melons here. <laughs> but I'm getting a little bit distracted. We are here to check out this magnificent thing. So we had the competition to chop down the most logs, and we have now created our trophies. If you haven't seen this series before, if you're out of the loop, we do competitions, and then we create trophies, which are in-game blocks that you can have um, in your base. So the way it works is that we've got four different tiers. I believe these are all built by Mr. Polymath, and it's a really nice design, as you can see. We've got the little trophy pedestal then we got the log and then the axe going into it so the diamond is the top one there is only one of these for the person who won the competition which is betty kills you i believe that might be betty Baghdadi, and she's renamed herself but uh the next one is for people who chopped over fifty thousand. i believe there's an additional two people who are getting this trophy then we have one for people who chopped over twenty thousand, and then the last one is for people who topped over ten thousand logs so if you're one of those people we have a list of all the scores that different people got you can contact a moderator and then they'll be able to hook you up with a trophy inside of your base so another live stream has finished and we have built a glorious structure in the city it is indeed a bridge look at this right here isn't it fantastic it took us an hour and 45 minutes to put this together and most of that was me sort of umming and ahhing about what to build and then having to place blocks and remove them in the the painstaking task of figuring out the shape of these arches but once that was done everyone chipped in and we came to this design rather swiftly and I've got to say it looks great now when building it it sort of felt decent but then when looking at it with the camera account from around the area it is a really nice bridge. <laughs> I am very happy with how that one has turned out. Now it has been some time since I last recorded that clip and more skyscrapers have been popping up. I just wanted to show these ones around the edge here because I thought they were really cool and they are totally new to me. Now this entire area is just our beginning area for the whole of the project. There is going to be a main part of the city that is a lot more focused and that is where we are actually going to go next. And it appears that there is some sort of project area for this as well. I see a lot of chests and possibly some extra stuff hidden down below. As you can see, the roads have been laid out in this main part of the city and the plots are a lot larger. And that's because we're planning all sorts of big municipal buildings like hospitals and shopping malls and whatnot. And someone's actually come over here and built a map of it. So this bit right here that we're focusing in on, that is actually where we are going to be building now. So after a shorter live stream than usual, we managed to get the pitch up and running which is really cool. We had to rebuild it a couple of times because of the size of it and making little mistakes with measurements. And now it looks like everyone's going around and putting lamps in. So we have wool with carpet on top of it. And uh, I don't know why the carpet was added, but it's really nice because it makes it pop, kind of pops off the pitch a little bit. We also got some corner flags out of end rods. And it's a nice touch that those have actually been rotated around so that the little bit is connecting to the flag at the top. We got ourselves a goal with some cobwebs and the measurements are relatively accurate. We spent a lot of time crunching the numbers, changing the distances of things, and I think it turned out um, really good. So let's pop up into the sky and just have a look at it from up here. So you can see we've got lots of space still around us to build a stadium. I think we're able to go outside of these boundaries. I should probably double check that as I plan on having a dugout on this side over here. So this green outside of pitch is going to extend across. There's going to be some dugouts and the rest of the stadium is going to be relatively close to the pitch because the seating is going to start somewhere around where I am right now. But this stadium over here, I plan on extending it quite far back. This is going to be the biggest of all the stadiums and we'll probably extend this road outwards a little bit or at least the path along the side, have a sort of foyer area underneath the stadium and I'm probably getting a little bit ahead of myself now so next time I record will be after the next time I stream and we have done some more building over here. They thought I was still streaming they were trying to throw tridents at me. That's right peeps we have finished another live stream and clearly there is a lot to talk about so first of all let's pop down here and check out the pitch. Yes I am in creative mode I switched to creative mode when we're 
no longer actually playing and sometimes spectator mode. We have a pitch full of players and they're actually in a formation as well. We got a 4-3-3 on this side and on the opposite side a 5-3-2. It's a proper football match. We got goalkeepers and I asked the peeps during the stream to come and put their heads into a box and so everyone you see here on either of the teams is a member from the server. We are going to add some uh, benches soon, some dugouts, and we'll have managers. We've already got linesmen, crazy line, crazy linesmen, crazy Marth is a linesman over here. He's got a stick to wave when someone's offside. And uh, there's probably a referee somewhere as well, right? It's also this little fella. <laughs> um, yeah, so all of that went really, really well. And apparently we dug down the mountain over here and built something. <laughs> Very strange. Uh, and then we built our first stand. Now, there are many ways in which you can make a stadium stand, right? Different heights and widths and amounts of rows and walkways and colours and all sorts of things and shapes. And we're starting off simple. We went for a two-tiered approach where from the bottom tier and the top tier, you would walk down to this middle walkway here to exit the stadium into the back areas. Eventually, we will build concession stands, behind-the-scenes stuff, and all of that goodness. And we will even make this stadium look good from behind as well, which is a whole other job. And I am so excited for this project. Now you can see we got much further than just putting in the seats. We also got as far as the roof and there isn't really any other material that works quite as well as quartz. And we realized in the stream that quartz looks like metal painted white basically. And that's why it kind of works because you'd have big metallic iron support struts up the top. So we just started work on the roof and I like the slope and I think the quartz might be a little bit too close together. So as we build this up further and further, we will find out more about this build. But that is a lot of progress for this one stream and I am absolutely loving how this project is turning out. Another live stream down and a lot more stadium construction has happened. First of all, this is all still intact. The roof though now has lighting on. Actually not so keen on it. Uh, above. I like it below with those end rods. I didn't realize those were up there, but yes, the roof's been expanded a little bit. Now, the big bit to talk about is this big expansion around the side here. In creating all of this, I learned something really important. I couldn't actually bring the design that I wanted to life, which is why we have this kind of small section back here that is in this underhang. So I wanted to create a second uh, part that really overhanged over on this side, but not over here where it goes above these executive boxes, which uh, something is happening over here. <laughs> uh, anyway, so the problem is that you always have the same gradient of slope, right? It's going at the exact same pace upwards. And in real life, if you wanted to have one of these come deeper back behind where you have one of these up here above, this thing would need to be less steep. And because we don't we're not able to do that. It doesn't really work with second tiers that overhang the front one very well because then when you're sitting up here, the view of the pitch is going to be obscured if this ends up being closer across. So we learned that lesson and so this thing looks a little bit funky over on this side and then we've just been putting in loads of seats and at some point we'll start to put in uh, the little walkways at some point. This is going to stretch all the way around to this side and then we have an interesting challenge over here where we're going to make a different stadium layout mixed with the one on this side over here and that's going to be two-tiered and involve a roof that is higher in this space uh, stretching down and linking with that one but that'll be in the next episode and the next stream. What I've done now is I've set everyone up with a challenge so what we decided to do is put a load of stone back here and this stone represents the blocks that players can change inside their executive box. So we've assigned different players and even teams of players with executive boxes. There are still some free at the time you're watching this video. I'm going to guess they are gone. Um, but then the players will be able to decorate the interiors of their executive box. So this project is a nice way to get the community involved and have some customization and uniqueness within our stadium and that's where we're going to wrap this episode up in the next one we will see some new buildings being constructed inside of our mega city of course this is the first one to be built uh, but that is it so thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it then leave a like it makes a difference here on youtube as always thank you for doing that i appreciate your support and i'll see you soon with another one bye bye